There is no way that sound can travel the vacuum of space. Since there are no molecules that will carry the vibrations, don't expect to hear anything from massive cosmic events like exploding stars or merging black holes. Well, Albert Einstein led us to the impossible. As we all know it, Sir Isaac Newton described gravity as a pulling force between masses, and his calculation of universal gravitation accurately predicts the motion of planets and other heavenly bodies. However, there's a problem with Newton's equation, because in every change in mass or in distance, we always equate to a change in force instantaneously, even astronomically far. According to Newton's principle, if the sun disappears right now, Earth will disconnect from sun's gravity at the same moment. But Einstein was smart enough to realize that Newton's gravity was violating the speed limit. He predicted that a change in warping by some enormous events will send waves of space-time distortion moving at the speed of light. So, if the sun disappears right now, Earth will feel the effect only after 8 minutes and 20 seconds. This ripples of space-time itself is the solution to the overspeeding of gravity and what we call as gravitational wave. As gravitational wave passes, it distorts space-time for a short period of time. And to be able to detect these very small distortions, LIGO was built, or Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. LIGO was based on the principle that two light beams will form different interference patterns when there is a change in distance traveled. The light beam travels in 4km pipe and eventually recombine at the detector. This beam is hypersensitive to the distance it traveled, so when one arm is stretched or compressed relative to the other, even change of just thousands of proton diameter will be detected. In September 14, 2015, LIGO facility in Louisiana finally detected the first ever gravitational wave. And 7 milliseconds later, LIGO in Washington registered the same. Scientists concluded that this gravitational wave came from two merging black holes 1.3 billion light years away. Up to this date, there are a total of 50 gravitational waves detected. And in 2034, the European Space Agency will launch LISA, or Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, to further detect gravitational waves. Aside from seeing the universe with electromagnetic waves, feeling with neutrinos and cosmic rays. We are now able to hear and understand the universe despite the quietness of the space.